Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and today we're gonna do a routine, a restorative yoga routine or yin yoga routine. And in these routines what we do is we just support the stretch with bolsters, with blocks, and we stay longer in the stretch. Normally you can stay like a from 40 seconds to five minutes. It doesn't really have limit of time. But in this video, we're going to do it only one minute. But if you like it, you can learn the exercises. There are only 10 exercises. And then you can practice and put a longer time to feel the benefits. So literally, our body is just going to be on a stretch and it's going to relax and it's going to release. But we're not going to do efforts this time. So are you ready? Super. So we're going to need a bolster. In case that you don't have a bolster, you can get a mat, roll the mat, put a lot of blankets around, so make it a little bit poofy and comfortable and it doesn't sink when you go at the top. We're gonna use a cushion if you have it and a block. Okay, if you don't have it, it's fine. It's just in the way it makes the positions more comfortable and you feel more released. So remember to put your own music, make your atmosphere, get ready. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna use a timer and this is very useful when you're doing restorative poses or gym poses because you can put the setting of how many minutes you want in each interval and the, every time it will beep so then you know when to change the pose so that would be easier for you so you don't need to think in the breath or in the timing okay so you wanna listen a little beep but it's okay so we're gonna lie down against the wall so we are gonna move our bum close to the wall in the corner between the mat and the wall you lie down outside your mat at the edge of your mat and then you push your bum onto the wall. Make sure that before you roll on your back, your bum is touching the wall and you are outside your mat. So then you can roll on your mat. And then we just roll, let me take my phone. And we're just gonna move here our legs against the wall. Make sure that you don't have nothing in the head or the neck to really the, um, bother the position of the neck or make it uncomfortable in your neck. We're gonna take our bolster Push the wall with your feet, lift the hips, and move your bolster under your hips. That's good. You can move a little bit closer to the wall. We're going to start with child pose. So we're just going to bend the knees, move your knees just above your tummy, mm -hmm. hug the legs, resting the arms on the legs, curving the spine, relaxing your shoulders, and we're going to move the face towards the right side. And that's all. Release in our breath. We just scan our body to release with the breath the areas we might feel tense or tight. And remember again, if something disturbs you or distracts you, you just move your attention to your breath. Feel it releasing your lower back and your neck. I completely surrender. And slowly, we're going to move the face opposite direction to release the other side of the neck and the upper back. Keep your slow and a deep breath. Again, we just try to keep with our movement and be aware of those areas that you feel tense or tight and use the breath to release and relax them. And completely surrender. And slowly we're going to extend the legs against the, le the wall and you can move your arms overhead if it's comfortable or not just beside your shoulders, palms up or palms down. And we just rest here. Be very aware of how your body is responding 
to the stretch. Little your legs bend if you feel too much tension in your legs. Just be aware of the stimulation of the muscles, the blood, and how more and more we feel super, super, super really relaxed. And slowly bend your knees, open your knees wider, and again move your hands on there at the top of your legs. So it's child pose but with the open legs. And feel how the muscles holding the stretch start to release. This is another way to stretch the restorative stretches. Try to save this routine. For the days you feel tired, use this routine. And you don't feel like you have energy. Just use this routine. If you are a girl when you are in your period, as well will be helpful. And if you are men when you are under too much stress or you have a very strong workout, you said move your knees together, everybody. I would just extend them again against the wall. Move your arms or over your head or open beside your shoulders. And try to be aware that sometimes one size is stronger than the other one, one size is tighter than the other one. Try to find a way to balance them. Again, give you deep and long breath. Feels good, feels energy. Feel your legs stretching, release. The most important is our lower back. Now we bend the legs and we open the legs to the butterfly. So feet together, open your knees. This time we're going to move our hands under the head. Open your elbows if it's comfy, if no other position of your arms. We're just going to hold him, breathing deep and exhale. Let's go for three. That's good. Long breath. Well done, everybody. How you feel? I pretty much you feel super relaxing as me. Nice. Very slowly, we're gonna release our hands, and we're gonna move the knees together. Super. Now we're gonna place the feet against the wall. We're going to lift our hips and remove the bolster. Rub your pelvis. Roll gently to the side. And gently come up. You might be super, super, super relaxed, which is the main thing. Okay, everybody. So now we're going to do another posture, which is the twisting with the bolster. So we're going to take our bolster and our block. Okay. So we're going to put our hips legs on the side and the bolster is going to come close to the hips and we are going to, if you feel this too uncomfortable for your head or your neck, you can always elevate this part of the bolster when you are going to put your face, okay? I like it to elevate but some people prefer to have it flat so it's up to you. If you don't want it, you just keep it flat, okay? And then from here we're going to just lie on your tummy Open your arms and you're going to move the face opposite direction of your legs. Okay, so this time we'll be here. And we're just going to rest there for a minute. Ready? Let's go. When we are here, try to completely melt your body on the bolster. Make it really comfy for you. 
Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Feel the release in your whole spine, back. Remember that we are always squeezing our organs and sometimes give us some sensations of the digestive system. And slowly everybody come all the way up. So now we're going to swing the legs to the other side and pretty much we're going to do the same. We lie down, move our face opposite direction, close your eyes and just we relax here for a minute. It feels so good in our back. And again, remind you that save this routine for those days that you just want to relax and release. A deep and long breath. And feel how you really melt on the bolster and really release your whole body. It's so good, this one. Of course, we have to balance some days. We need to build up the strength and flexibility. And we just to release and build up flexibility just by resting. Now, everybody, come up. And this time, we're going to take off the block from the bolster. Move your bolster at the front. Come on to all fours position. Oh, sorry, into your knees, and we're gonna do child pose. But this time, we're gonna place the arms on the bolster and let the head drop here. Remember your child pose as far as you can sit backwards without forcing your knees. If you cannot sit all the way into child pose, just rest your arms here and your head on your arms. Make sure that you always make a comfortable position for you. And just rest here. And just keep your awareness into your breath and how your body is reacting to the stretches. Try to not let the weight collapse on your head, the weight on your body. And slowly raise your torso. Well done. Now we're gonna go on to back bend. Okay, so for the back bend, we're gonna use our bolster at the back. So we just go here. So we're gonna pretty much place our upper back on the bolster, hips on the ground. If our head cannot reach the the ground, we're gonna use one block. And we're just going to rest here, open our arms. Okay, let's try it. And we're just going to hold here. Open your chest, releasing your spine, open your arms. And when we are in these poses, that we are not doing anything, just holding the stretch. Always observe your body. One hip is moving more in or swinging in one side than the other one. And your shoulders, you are putting more weight of your body in one side than the other. A little introspection and observation of our body. Oh, it feels so good, guys. I hope you're enjoying.
Now everybody bend your elbows, push your elbows against the bolster, come up, bend your legs, drag the legs in. We're going to go forward bend with the bolster again, so we put the bolster under the knees. Mm -hmm. Now here we're going to rest our head on the legs, but if our head is not reaching the legs, we're going to use our blocks and we're just going to fold our arms and we're just going to rise here. Ready? Let's go for a minute. Mm -hmm. And completely relax. Always observe how your body is releasing. Yeah, where are which areas you are holding or tensing? Like for example, your shoulders or your upper back. And completely connect with your breath. And slowly we come all the way up. Wow, we feel completely different. Move your arms up, everybody. Give you a nice stretch. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale, we release, we're going to take off our bolster, we're going to just sit down. Now we need those three breaths to waking us up because it's so relaxing. Mm, it feels so good. Again, if you want to repeat the sequence, come back to the chapter, it will bring you at the beginning of the sequence if you have time. If not, let's, it's time to go, so let's do our last three breaths. This time we exaggerate, inhale, arms up. Exhale to your mouth, arms down. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale. That's back right position. And we say namaste. Thank you for joining us. Remember, there are simple things that we can do every day with great benefits for our spine, our joints, our body keep our mobility more when we are getting older. But if you are young as well, you can lose your mobil body mobility when you are young as well. So remember to see, uh, find us. <laughs> I'm super relaxed now. Remember to find us in Instagram. Follow us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, give us a comment, and also activate the bell to get notifications when our new videos are released. Thank you for joining.